So everybody always wants the sound clip video. I figure I put that right in the beginning of the video. So here's a walk around of my Challenger. Pretty much somewhat done with it for now. Um, all the major parts that I really want to get done as soon as I bought it are done. So from the front, we have a lighted headdress and then I put the Pathfinder headlight in. To get the Pathfinder halo and this to light up at the same time, you have to buy, buy a T-harness from a guy that makes one. Um, I'll put my Instagram handle in below and just DM me there and I'll give you the guy's email. I don't want to post it publicly on a uh, YouTube video, but it's $35, it's OEM quality and it works great. I did the Laminex uh, tint on the headlight or the uh, marker lights here. Just kind of blend everything through. They also make a tint for the headlight if you had the stock chrome headlight and you just want to black everything out. The dark horse panels here and the dark horse Indian logo. Moving up. Clockworks windshield and PSR levers, OD heart lock grips. I did the updated GPS. Um, and as you can see, there's a nice little ice storm running around because we have weather on this, which is kind of nice. So that's why we're in the garage doing this. Coming down, we got the stage one intake and then the SBC Performance front bars and the SBC Performance rear bars. They're a small shop, they make everything in house in the United States, so it can take a couple months to get it come in. I ordered the rear bars at Thanksgiving, they just now came in today, so cut them some slack. Uh, moving down, we have the Toast full two in one exhaust, which you just heard. And because I didn't want to black everything out, kind of want to do some chrome, be a little bit different, but also have some black, so I added the Dark Horse uh, engine covers, placards that the base doesn't come with. Moving around, I added the custom dynamic bag lights. Uh, I had the original Indian bag lights, but they only function as auxiliary lights, not turn signals or brake lights, and I wanted a little bit more light in the back. And then I paired them up with the Curacan Atto Bullet adapters here. You just take your uh, OEM assembly off and these bolt right on. And then I cut the reflector off of the light back here and then added a flush plate. Paired with a shorty antenna. Don't listen to the radio much, but you never know when you're gonna need it. Underneath, we have the billet toast, uh, toast mount here. And pair that with the back support mount over here. If you notice on a bunch of different back supports, you have the OEM bracket that still comes down and you see this big thing hanging down here. This eliminates everything and then keeps the back of the bike looking nice and clean. Moving on to the other side. Again, added a placard here a placard up here to kind of bring bring some things together. Obviously the uh, SPC bars. Um, the, the levers, some people always make fun of me for cutting these, but what I like to do is be able to keep my fingers here and pull like that. It's just an old habit from Enduros. Then last but not least, the biggest improvement thing I've done was add the two inch lift kit from Forever Rad. It made handling so much better and it's hard to believe that a big bike like this can handle the way it does and uh here shortly i'm going to be sending the ecu off to lloyd's to have it flashed to master's exhaust and i should be pretty much done